You want to check it to make sure it went through? Oh, yeah. We're good. I appreciate you coming last minute to do that for me. But I do want to ask you one last question before you leave. Yeah. Just you can check. You got it? Oliver? Oliver Ramon Bridal? Yeah. Okay. 50, not 60. Well, I just tipped you. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, has anyone ever told you that Jesus was God manifesting the flesh? And that he came into his own, the Jews? And they rejected him. He was crucified, buried yeah, yeah. three days, and three nights. Well, he wasn't. He died physically three days, three nights, and he rose again on that third day. God quickened his spirit, rose from the dead, and he was seen by many above 500 witnesses, in addition to his disciples. And if you believe that with your heart, you have eternal salvation. Absolutely, I'm a Christian. Okay, so you're a Christian. I know Pontius Pilate and all them guys. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so, do you believe that Jesus 19 is the Creed, the Apostles Creed? Okay, so you, you claim to be a Christian, also. Yeah. Or you profess to be a Christian. Sweet. So, you believe that Jesus is God the Father? Yeah. Holy Spirit? Yeah, the Trinity? Okay, well, I don't believe in the Trinity. I believe that there's three in heaven that bear record, and those three are one. Right, right, right. God the Father. God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Right. So, what the Trinity does is it creates a personage, it creates three different persons, but they're one. Right. So, you know, the mystery of the gospel is that God was manifest in the flesh through his son, Jesus Christ. Right. And in Isaiah 9, 6, it says the son will be born unto us and the government will be on his shoulders and his name will be the everlasting father, counselor, wonderful, mighty God, those those other names, but everlasting father mainly. And he came in his father's name. You just said that. They baptized him in the name of the father, son, and the Holy Ghost. So Jesus inherited his father's name. He obtained a greater name than any. You know, there's only one name under heaven whereby we must be saved, even among men. So it's from heaven. It can't be translated in Hebrew. It's not Yeshua. It's not Elohim. It's not Jehovah. Jehovah is one of his names, but there's only one name that saves, and that's Jesus. So do you believe you got to repent to be saved? Always. Always? Always. Okay. For eternal salvation. I'm human. I'll make mistakes. I'm not God. I'm not Jesus. Okay. Okay. I am perfect. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Jesus either. So, so, so if, if, if I asked you, God forbid, if you went out and got on the highway and, and died tonight or today, mm -hmm. God forbid, right. would you know for sure whether you're going to go to heaven? I would hope. I don't know for sure. You know for sure? Well, if I would go for, if I would go to heaven, uh huh. I don't really think so. I have you a like good, to think so? A good, a okay, good so you're just thinking. It sounds. I'm, I'm sure not saying 100. percent Okay, okay, 100. percent no, I'll say a good. So 90%. and then my follow would be, well, why why should God let you into heaven? Why? Why should God let you? I in try heaven? to follow the. Ten Commandments, the best as I can. The Ten Commandments. Yeah. Okay. So if you if you reverse that question and ask me, I would go by Galatians two twenty, and it says that Jesus lives in me, and it's because of the faith of the Son of God. Right. So when you're believing, when in Acts sixteen thirty, when the Philippian jailer came out and said, "Sirs, what must we do to be saved? What must I do to be saved?" Because of the earthquake or whatever, and Paul was like, and Silas was like. Uh, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. So it's just believe. So it also says believe on the name of the Son of God. The name is very important because there's a lot of people that don't believe on the true Jesus. You know, there was a bar Jesus and there was a Jesus also called justice in the in the word of God. So so uh, it says to believe on the correct Jesus. If anyone comes and preaches a different Jesus, those people are cursed. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying I'm boasting on Jesus. It's nothing that I can do. So as a believer, when you've, when you've been baptized with the living water that Jesus has for us, the Holy Spirit, then now you have the power over sin. Now you can repent because it says God for adventure gives us repentance. We can't have repentance until we become a believer. Faith is of the Spirit. That's a gift of the Spirit. We can't have that. That's a work. So repentance, faith, trusting, those are all works. So I'm not boasting on myself. I'm not saying I'm being a good person. Even though I do good deeds here and there, whatever. Sure. In your flesh, that old man, that's going to sin until Jesus comes back and gets us. Right. But the new man, the spirit, right. that's in you, the Holy Spirit that's in you, God sees Jesus Christ in you. Right. So Jesus can't deny himself, right? So it's his righteousness. The righteousness of God was the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's the power of God. So I'm believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's his faith. So when, when it says we're saved by grace in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, we're saved by grace through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast, not of yourselves. Because if it's works, it's not grace. If it's grace, it's works. So it's God's grace. I'm not going to hold you up too long. I know you got 
God's grace. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, Jesus is our Savior. It also says God is our Savior. Right. And it's Jesus' faith. It's not our faith. Right. So when someone says they believe, they have faith in Jesus, that's how they know, they know they're going to heaven. It's not their faith. It's the faith of the Son of God. Right. So I would just encourage you to truly believe that because if you say that you're a Christian and you, and, and you uh, profess to be a believer, but you're, 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 you're relying on your good works or some way, somehow your human nature is trying to put you in it and say, OK, well, I got to do something because it's going to tell you that your flesh is going to tell you. The enemy is going to tell you you need to do something. But Jesus said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. My yoke is light. My burden is easy. One, one of those ways. Come all to me that, that are weary. Rest. Right. So I rest in that. So there's no condemnation in Christ. So anyway, I'm just going to leave you that. I, I pray that. that you really believe that with Thank your you. heart, I man. And, 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 and it's not about repentance. It's nothing you can do. We can't put God in debt. No. We can't earn our way into heaven. We are created beings. God is of the, he is a spirit. Right. So, so when I become a, when I became a believer, I received it. Receiving it is believing it. I became a son of God. But the difference between myself and Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ was the only begotten. He was born of the Holy Spirit, right. made of made of a woman. We were born of earthly fathers. Yeah. So, so I received it, I believe it, and I forget where I was going with that. <laughs> now you live it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, just believe on that man and, and uh, don't rest on yourself. Uh, and I just encourage, I like to preach the gospel as much as possible. Mm, pastor? Uh, there's no pastors on the earth today, right. uh, according to the word of God, but I do preach. I'm a preacher okay. because it says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So, you know, my dad the other day was like, oh, you want to wow people with all the scriptures? No, I don't know all the scriptures. I've jumbled them up a lot. I literally was about to go make some, uh, make some, uh, some, uh, uh, cliff note or what do you call it? Flashcards right. to remember it. So when I'm actually out here preaching, I can. But it says, how shall they call on him? Whom, how shall they, how, they shall call on the Lord. They call upon the name of the Lord. How shall they call on him whom they have not believed? How shall they believe on him if a preacher hasn't been sent? So the only way that we're saved, the way I was saved, I heard a preacher preaching the word, the true Jesus, because a lot of people don't believe that Jesus is God the Father. They don't, they don't, they don't believe, so therefore they don't understand the name, the power of the name Jesus. Jesus right. And then they don't believe the true gospel. The true gospel is that Jesus Christ came into his own. The Jews were God's chosen people. If they didn't reject their Messiah and Christ, which were are both titles, then eternal salvation wouldn't be accessed and eligible. We wouldn't be eligible for eternal salvation, everybody else. He was crucified. He was buried. He re he rose. A lot of people only say death, burial, you know, death, burial, resurrection. They only so, but he was witness also. That's why we have an account for Jesus. He had more. He he, he walked the earth for 40, 40 days. So anyway, um, I appreciate this. This is look nice. So don't roll it down roll for three days. Yeah. Okay. Days. All right. Cool. And um, again, you. appreciate you, man. No problem. Believe that with your heart. No, I do. I appreciate and, that. And have a great day. Thank Be blessed. You. All right.